not even 11 o'clock yet. I, I've been up for about an hour and a half, though. Um, but, um, you know, it's Saturday. College football on today, so. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to take the Browns here. I, I'm not going to overthink it. I do like some of these underdogs this week, but I'm not going to overthink it. I'm taking the Browns. Um, Bears, Colts. Maybe this is the moment that the Bears finally get a win. Or no, sorry, they, they won week one. Uh, I think they're one of one now. Um, I, a lot of people, uh, you know, there was that viral moment between Caleb Williams and um, C.J. Stroud. Uh, C.J. Stroud kind of like, you know, big brothered him, big broed him a little bit, but not really. I mean, I think he was being genuine when he said what he said. Um, I'm going to take the Bears here. I'm going to take the Bears here, the Colts. Man, uh, as somebody that drafted Anthony Richardson, he is not looking nearly as promising as he was in his rookie season before he got hurt. Um, hopefully that turns around. Hopefully he changes that narrative for me. But um, as somebody that's got uh, Anthony Richardson and Michael Pittman stacked, uh, it's, it's uh, I'm 0 2. So we're going to take the Bears here. Uh, I, of course, you know, football is not, you know, fantasy. It is a, a full team game. So uh, I think on paper, the Colts uh, are probably the better team. But I, I just, something about the Bears. I'm really pulling for the Bears. I want to see the Bears be successful this year. I don't like Caleb Williams, but uh, it's similar to like the Browns, you know. The Browns are bad for so long that you like can't help but to pull for them, you know. Um, so I'm going to go with the Bears here. Uh, Vikings, Texans, man, the Vikings are the biggest. I thought for sure the Vikings were going to be the worst team in the NFL this year. I, I would have put money outside of the Panthers. The Panthers are literally like that. They're, they're like not even a team. I would have guessed, you know, the, the Raiders, the Panthers. I mean, the Raiders got like a defense. But I mean, like... Yeah, I'm like looking at the rest of these teams. I guess Commanders, maybe, you know, you know, Patriots. I would have thought the Vikings would have been worse. But uh, they're still somehow competitive. I mean, you do have, you know, Justin Jefferson, so you can't really, can't really be too surprised. Can't really be too surprised at that. Uh, but the Texans are such a complete team. I think the Texans are one of the favorites to at least go to the Super I mean, their team is just stacked. They're just absolutely stacked. Imagine, like, <laughs> imagine J.J. Watt coming out of nowhere, signing a, vet, a veteran deal, <laughs> coming out of it. He's been retired for too long, though. He would never do that. Um, I'm sure he's probably wishing he could, though, because um, they're really good now. Uh, I'm going to take the Texans. Um, Nico Collins, man. I, I was not really familiar with Nico Collins, but he is, he looks like he's something special. He looks like he is something special. And of course they got Stefan Diggs. Um, they look, they look like they're in, 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 uh, playoff form already. And it's week three. So, um, let's go over here to Panthers versus Raiders. And I'm, I'm not going to waste any time on this. I, I think the, the Panthers might go 0-17 this year. Uh, they are that bad. Um, although, they did bench uh, Bryce Young, which is really sad. And I really hope that some, you know, Bryce Young either gets traded. I mean, look at Sam Darnold. You know, look at Sam Darnold with the Vikings now. Look at uh, Baker Mayfield. Um, both are thriving under new teams. So, I wouldn't quite count Bryce Young out yet. But the path to him being successful in the NFL just got a lot more complicated. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes you make a QB switch and there's like this big, you know, oh, uh, let's, uh, we're a new team kind of deal. Um, you know what, I'm flipping my pick. I'm going to go with the Panthers this week. The Raiders have a really good defense, so that kind of scares me a little bit. But if the Panthers are going to get a win this year, it's going to be against a team like the Raiders. Uh, it'll be the Raiders. 
Raiders or I don't know who else they play, but like uh, maybe they steal a game against the Bucks or something. I don't know. Um, maybe they steal a game against the Falcons. That would be a, that would be shameful. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the unthinkable and I'm gonna back the Panthers this week. <sighs> Next we have Dolphins and Seahawks, and man, I really hope Tua is healthy. Um, I don't think he's going to play this week. I don't think he's going to play for like four weeks. I want to say they put him on IR. I'm going to go Seahawks here. I just don't believe in the Dolphins uh, without Dua at all. The Seahawks kind of uh, have had a, a, a good couple of two weeks, I believe. Or are they 2-0? and I don't think they're 2-0. and I think they're 1-1. One and one. I'd have to look it up. Uh, I'm not going to look it up. But I know they have at least one win. They beat uh, the Patriots last week, I believe. I think they had a close game with the Patriots, but, um, you know, the Patriots are another, uh, I, I said the Vikings are a big surprise this year. The Patriots also a very big surprise. They're doing really well for given, given their situation. I'm going to take the Seahawks here over the Dolphins. Just play. I'm, I'm, I'm betting on the healthcare team here. Um, and they're at home, I believe. Yeah, they should be at home. Yeah, the right teams are at home, so... Yeah, I'm going to back the, uh, the 12th man over in Seattle and uh, take the Seahawks. Dude, the Cardinals. I was not expecting the Cardinals to put up 40-plus points against the Rams <laughs> last week. That was a huge offensive performance. Kyle Murray is looking like he is um, possibly going to be QB1 this year. He's, he's putting up good numbers. Um... I I want to bet on the Lions. I really do, but I don't know how you bet on against a team that just put up 40 points. I mean, I bet against the Saints last week against the Cowboys, and uh, they put up another 40-burger. They, they are uh, statistically the best offense in the NFL as of right now, but uh, uh, I, I don't really believe that. Uh, I'm going to take... <sighs> Sheesh. I, you know what? I wonder, because Aiden Hutchinson, right? I believe that's his name. Aiden Hutchinson. Hutchinson, yes. Um, he's, I, I think, the leading, uh, the sack leader in the NFL. I don't know that the Cardinals have really been tested. Their O line, I don't know that their O line has really been tested. They've played, I can't remember who they played week one, but I mean, the Rams, uh, I don't think the Rams have a very good pass rush. Uh, it might be a little bit different of a different story. I'm thinking about, you know, you know, Aiden Hutchinson is not T.J. Watt, but I'm thinking about what T.J. Watt did to the Falcons. Of course, Kirk Cousins is a very, um, especially in Week One, was a very um, static passer. He was not very mobile. Uh, Kyler Murray is very mobile, um, but I'm going to take the Lions here just. To I'm, I'm basically betting on Aiden Hutchinson. I'm, I'm betting that he's going to make Kyler Murray feel a little bit more uncomfortable than he's been in the first two weeks. I'm going to take the Lions. Plus, the Lions offense is just stellar. Um, next up, we have probably the game of the week uh, to most people. Ravens and Cowboys. And the Ravens are 0-2. Do we really think that the Ravens are going to go 0-3? And then the Cowboys, I believe, are 1-1. One one. Uh, both of these teams have uh, stars all over the place on offense and defense. <sighs> the Cowboys just own the regular season. That's why I took them against the Saints. They got embarrassed against the Saints last week. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to take the Cowboys. I'm going to take the Cowboys. The Ravens are going to be 0-3, which is going to be like the story of the year. Um, you know, who would have thought the Ravens would be 0-3 after, you know, going into week four? I don't know, though. I, I don't know. Um, this is this is really a coin toss. This, this game could go either way. I, I, I expect this to be a great game. Probably a very exciting game to watch. It's probably going to be, if I had to guess, uh, probably going to be the, the televised game for 1 o'clock. Um, I don't know. I don't know why anybody else would be televised. 
capitalized over Ravens Cowboys, but moving on, we have the Eagles and the Saints, and I just think the Saints are so fraudulent, man. I really think the Saints are fraudulent. I don't know if A.J. Brown is back. Uh, I know he was out versus the Falcons, and the Falcons won by one point. Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like they would have won had A.J. Brown been playing. Uh, I don't know if he has that kind of swing or not. He kind of dominated us when he was with Tennessee. So, uh, But that's a, that was a completely different team. The Falcons have the best secondary in the NFL, period. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, A.J. Brown would have gone off, but I'm also not going to say that he wouldn't have done nothing. He would have definitely helped. Um, I'm taking the Eagles here. I think they bounce back. I don't think they're going 0-2 against the, NF the NFC South. I think the Saints are fraudulent. I think they're way overhyped. At the end of the day, it's Derek Carr. Um, Kamara looks like a monster, but that Eagles defense, I, to my knowledge, they have a good run defense. Um, at least they should. Uh, when I think about the Eagles, I think of run defense. I hope I'm not completely embarrassing myself. You know what? I'm going to stat check right now. I'm going to go stat check this very second. I'm going to go into FanDuel. And I want to see their statistic, their defense by, like, statistically. Statistically. If this would ever load. Uh, if this would ever load. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I like to, I like to play FanDuel. Um, all right, so quarterback. And where's Carr at? Where's Carr? Wow. All right, I was completely wrong. Their defense is awful <laughs> going into week three. They are the 30th ranked defense and the 25th ranked rushing defense. I still don't believe that. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm back in the Eagles here. I really am. Um, next up, we have Chargers and Steelers. Um, I've bet against the Steelers every week, and they've just been proving me wrong. Uh, but Harbaugh seems to have the Chargers in a uh, better place overall. Um, I, I like betting on the better quarterback, which is Justin Herbert. I don't know why people hate on Justin Herbert. That dude is a top eight um, quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion. Uh, he's in that fringe elite you ask me. Um, he's really good. He was the best rookie in that class uh, way back when. I, I can't even remember who else was in that class, but I remember him being, um, you know, it was like him and I think like Trevor Lawrence and um, maybe I'm getting two classes mixed up, but I don't want to do it, but I'm going to take the Chargers. I'm betting against the Steelers for the third straight week. Um, I, I guess I'm just a, a big hater for the Steelers now. Um, <laughs> I'm really not. It's just uh, they. I know they're gonna regress at some point. They're two and zero. I would, you know, if you if you asked me if the Steelers would be two and zero, I'd say absolutely not. Especially after playing the Falcons, but they kind of showed us out. Showed us up. Broncos. And again, I think the Bucks are fraudulent as well. I think people are looking at the NFC South and thinking to themselves, wow, this this conference isn't that bad. Um, you know, the Bucks have been looking good. The Saints have been looking good. The Falcons got to win on Monday night over the Eagles. Maybe the NFC South isn't as bad as we thought. And of course, the Panthers are over there just... But uh, the Bucks. I think they could beat the Broncos. I, I will. I will back the Bucks against the Broncos this week. Um, Baker Mayfield, man, Baker Mayfield is uh, in the MVP race, which is wild. Um, I think the MVP. I, I don't. I don't know what the actual MVP race looks like, but uh, I know him and like Sam Darnold and somebody else are like the best looking. They have the best looking stats so far. Uh, for as far as quarterback goes, and let's be honest, MVP is usually a quarterback award. Um, next up, we have Packer 
Warriors and Titans. The Titans, man, they are a quarterback away from, you know, they have such a good receiving core. Um, well, they have Calvin Ridley, and I think DeAndre Hopkins, but is he even playing? I don't even know. The Packers, though. Malik Willis. I don't know if he did that great. have a squad, man. They really do. They're they're kind of quickly, they've, they've kind of become one of my, like, pseudo teams, like, favorite teams, you know? I like pulling for the Lions. I obviously like pulling for the Falcons. Um, I usually, I, I, I tend to pull for the Bills when I can. Um, and then the Packers are probably up there on that list. I'm going to take the Packers. I'm going to back the Packers here. Uh, Josh Jacobs has been a, uh, a workhorse for them uh, through two weeks. And uh, hopefully he stays healthy. Um, but it's going to come down to Malik Willis. Uh, whether or not they, they can keep their the ball rolling kind of deal. Uh, and Will Levis has just been uh, really, really bad through two weeks. I thought I'm you know, watching him come in in last year, I thought Will Levis was going to be the answer. Um, but now there's kind of some more question marks there. And there's a couple more question marks. All right. Last four games here. We have 49ers at the Rams. Two California teams. they really know how to use 
guys like Cremont. Um, but I'm going to take the Falcons on Sunday night. And then we have a Monday night doubleheader. We have the Bills at home versus the Jaguars. And we have the Bengals at home against the Commanders. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and take probably both of the Bills, man. The Bills have been have been uh, they've they've surprised me. I thought that they would, you know, without Stefan uh, Stefan Diggs, I thought that they would take a step back. Man, was I wrong? They almost look better without him. Um, apparently, that's kind of a, a a theme. Sometimes, you know, players leave, and uh, maybe Josh Allen was was trying to get it to Diggs too much. Maybe forcing it to Diggs too much, uh, and now he's just has no more uh, Stefan Dick, so he just kind of, you know, goes through his reads. I don't know. He has been rushing a lot, um, but I mean, that's normal for Josh Allen. The Jaguars, um, I still, I, I like the Jaguars, I really do. Um, the Jaguars could steal this game, who knows, but the Bills just look too good through the first two weeks. They look, they've looked like they've been ready to play. Um, the first two weeks, so I'm going to take the Bills here, and then lastly we have the Commanders at the Bengals, and I gotta say do I want to take the Commanders here? I'm going to take the Commanders here. I'm just going to take the Commanders here. Uh, the Bengals, um I, I, I gotta go with another upset. I gotta go with another upset. I haven't really taken that many upsets this week. Um, at least I don't think I have. Maybe I, I took the Falcons over the Chiefs. That's obviously an upset. Um, I'm going to take the Commanders here. Um, no, I'm not. I'm taking the Bengals. I've got a weird feeling about this game. I, I can't I can't fade Joe Burrow in prime time. I, I can't. Um, you know, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, they're going to be probably throwing, um, throwing, throwing lots of lots of touchdowns. Lots of touchdowns. Catching lots of touchdowns. Uh, that, that is a duo right there that is still, yeah, it's probably to this day, probably the best duo in the NFL. Um, yeah, I would, I would, I would take them over just about every, any other quarterback wide receiver duo in the NFL. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody, anybody. Now, is Joe Burrow completely healthy? I don't know. I guess, uh... You know, there's still uh, some question marks with his with his arm. Um, is is he gonna be able to play through throughout the entire year? Who knows? But I'm, I gotta take the Bengals here. I gotta take the Bengals. But that is gonna do it for week three predictions with the CNB. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, um, I'm sorry about it the stream yesterday being really laggy and just not very good overall. I do want to start doing more streams, um, so be on the lookout for that. But, uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. We'll, we'll make sure to get this video out next Thursday instead of next Saturday, uh, but I didn't want to just... Uh, you guys seem to really like the first one, uh, despite me being absolutely terrible with my picks. Um, I will, uh, I'll keep this going for at least another week. So, uh, again, make sure you hit that like button if you made it to the end of this video. Subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.